Well, at least we got some clarity on these class one and class three vehicles. I'm going to show you a tweet in a second that I feel pretty confident in, even though I don't know the guy, right? But I'm going to tell you why I believe him. Uh, a couple different reasons why before I do that, though, don't forget to drop a like. I would truly appreciate that. I know a lot of people aren't happy out there um, with this whole Molin situation, but if you could like the video, I'd be forever grateful course thanks for watching anyone that is watching these videos and if you're subscribed i appreciate that also this has been a wild ride so far if you've been a part of the journey i started this in november of 2022 uh, none of this is financial advice of course i just give you my own opinion and give you my honest opinion of what i think is going to happen next and i'm going to tell you right now honestly i'm done buying mullen stock but that doesn't mean that Molin is not going into production. That doesn't mean Molin will not be successful. That is just my own situation right now. I am completely done buying Molin stock. I have plenty of shares. Last time I purchased Molin stock was 87 cents. A lot of you know, if you're part of the Patreon, then you know exactly what my plan is. If you wanna join the Patreon, links down below. It's $7 a month till June 29th, so make sure you get in while you can. We have a private Discord. A lot of smart individuals in there where we like to connect. Uh, and we like to connect the dots pretty much with Mullen stock and other stocks as well. So let me show you this tweet and then tell me your opinion on what you think this is all about. But before I do that, don't forget to grab your coffee this early morning. It's 4 a.m. Here's mine. And pre-market is open and we are trading at 66.72. So it's very unfortunate. We have hit a new all-time low, at least in pre-market. And I saw after hours yesterday, we crashed through the floor that I was telling everyone about. If we held 68, then this could have been a positive sign, but we did not hold 68, unfortunately. We will see where we open today. It will be a very interesting day. Uh, the other thing I will touch on before I show you this tweet, and I know a lot of people don't want me to talk about this, but Lawrence, right? It's crazy to think what's going through his head right now. Like the, uh, the amount of confidence that he has given investors, the conversations he has had with investors, with people individually saying, we could do interviews, you can record it, I don't care. All signed documents saying everything I'm saying is true. It's just wild to me everything that has happened over these last couple months. And it is unfortunate the way things have revealed themselves, I would say, because I don't know if we're gonna get news at this point. I wanna believe that we're gonna get news. I wanna believe that everything is real and, and I, I still, part of me thinks this is real. It's just a waiting game, but these red days are tough and I understand, I get it completely. It is not fun at all to be in Mullen stock right now. Um, and the reason I'm done buying is I need more clarity. I, I made a video a couple weeks ago for all of you and I said I need two things to happen. I need clarity on the Lawrence situation with MAEO and all these deals and contracts that he said is going to happen. And I also need more clarity on production. Well, I think I'm getting more clarity on the production at least, which I'll show you right now, but just not clarity on the Lawrence situation because he has to work out his deal with Mullen Automotive. So hopefully they figure that out. Hopefully we get some news this week. We haven't really been getting any news lately. But let me show you this. So there's this guy named Robert Gadro. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Go ahead, give him a follow. I mean, I think he brings some value. He said Mullen just spoke with Mullen here in Williamsburg, Virginia, EV Auto Show. Vans will be at dealerships before end of this year. Trucks will be in production during first quarter of 2024. Now that was a little alarming. I didn't know what he meant by trucks. A very enthusiastic group of people. So that's good. At least they're excited about their job and marketing their product. I don't think Mullen really cares about the stock price. It's not their concern. We obviously know that. Diluting has obviously been happening and they, I guess they're doing what they gotta do, right? They're, it's out of our control. If we believe in the company, we believe in the product, then this is a waiting game. It, I think a lot of us were expecting to get very rich on Mullen stock overnight. And I get it. You see other stocks going up, Mullen's going down. It is not fun right now. So I think the mindset people have to have during this whole situation is, I'm either gonna be in this more long-term, I'm gonna sell and get out and put my money elsewhere. For me, uh, I am here long-term as of right now. So then I said, when you say trucks, do you mean class one vans or class three or what trucks? Because I was very confused by that. Robert stated class three first quarter of 2024. Now that was very alarming when he said this, but don't worry, 
we got this situated, we got this figured out. He did not mean class three first quarter 2024 because we know class three is starting production in July and they have deliveries due in August and September, which Mullen has stated on actual news, right? So then I said below me, interesting, I thought they said production for class three was starting in July next month. Later, uh, actually this morning, one hour ago, Robert stated correction, van class three, four, five, six, first quarter 2024. So again, I got more clarity with people um, in the Discord as well that he meant to say Bollinger. Bollinger is starting in 2024, which aligns exactly with the news that we already knew, right? So that's why I'm staying optimistic, I'm staying bullish. Uh, Robert, I don't know who he is. I don't think he's just spreading FUD or anything like that. He's had a, I looked at his Twitter, he's had a Twitter since like 2011. So seems like a pretty normal dude, just, just went to a show and, and asked some great questions. And then you can ignore XL or whoever that is. Uh, and then Robert also said they are producing some vans now. Okay. So we've always thought that production is started for vans. The question is why hasn't Mullen announced it yet? Mullen dropping news sucks. They're the worst at it. Like they just, they want things to, to drop at certain times and it doesn't help shareholders whatsoever. So it's good to see that Robert said they are producing some vans now production by end of July. Okay, vans will hit dealerships by end of the year. I don't know what orders need to be filled before then. And then below me, Robert said the representative said, uh, truck production will be first quarter 2024. I believe him versus top level management lies. And as we wrap up this video today, guys, I thought this was very interesting. Uh, Trevor on Twitter, this popped up on my feed. And uh, this is basically showing you a chart of how stocks move. Well, Mullen stock has completely crashed. I would even say the top, the very top was probably 48 cents. Uh, this was pre-split. Remember we hit 48 cents, then we pulled back and then we hit 43 cents, right? And I would say that was return to normal and then the major sell off. And this was in February of 2023. So I do think we are in the despair section right now. This is also known as the depression stage before the relief comes, before a sign of hope comes, right? So again, right now it's a waiting game. We're really waiting on news. We need specific news. We need clarity from Lawrence and MAEO. That would be a cherry on top from all of this. But besides that point, if Lawrence never came in, the reason I got invested in Mullen stock was specifically because of class one, and now class three vehicles, as I've learned about them, I also liked Bollinger. Really, when I started looking into this company last summer, that uh, got me very intrigued with the company, but now it's all about class one. I think they have a competitive edge. Don't forget to drop a like if you got some value. See you on the next one.